What is going on YouTube? It is Bama Dipper back here with another video and today we are going to be doing a review on Grizzly Wintergreen. Now I know I said in my last video that I wasn't going to do Wintergreen no more and I was probably going to get long cut. Well, that shit didn't happen. Uh, I actually got a roll of uh, Copenhagen Wintergreen as usual unfortunately um, and then I went to my buddy's house and he had a can of Grizzly Wintergreen. I, t I told him about my YouTube channel. I was going to do a review on it. So he gave it to me. And he also fucking gave me what everyone needs and what everybody wants. A mud jug. Yes, I got me a fucking mud jug. Thanks to him, I got this puppy. Shout out to you. You know who you are. Stay sexy, my friend. Alright, I'm done. Alright. So, it is a uncracked can. Already poked its asshole. There we go. Yeah. But it's an uncracked can. Alright. Let's crack this some bitch. <coughs> mm. I hate Grizzly. Now, I love Copenhagen Wintergreen. I love Red Seal Wintergreen, but I don't know why, but last time I tried Grizzly Wintergreen, it had sort of a chemical taste to it, so I wasn't a real big fan of it, but that was like ninth grade, so that was about almost a year ago, so yeah, let's try it again. Oh shit, that's not good. Got a little tobacco on the table. Right, let's get this in. The cut feels different. Son of a bitch. Packing a dip with me? Cheers. Now, from just feeling this, from just feeling this dip, that's my little sister if you can hear. Parents aren't home, she don't know that. But today, why did I just say today? I'm a fucking dumbass. No, but I can already tell by the dip, it's a softer cut. Like Cobain wearing, it's like a rough cut. And this is like a soft, like, this, I don't like it. The taste. Uh, it's like a chemical taste. and It's just, it's not bad. But it's not good either. God, I love this thing. Everyone watching this? Go get you a mud jug. This is probably the best thing I've ever seen or heard about. I got the uh, Don't Tread on Me mud jug. I believe it's discontinued. So, yeah, but the taste tastes just like Copenhagen Wintergreen, but it feels like it has more of a, a chemical taste to it. Like, has more of a... more of a it definitely has more of a feel to it <clears throat> it feels softer than a Copenhagen long cut I mean Copenhagen wintergreen it feels squishy like if I went and touched it right now it'd feel like swimming in a creek and feeling that marsh in the bottom of it you know what I mean I'm not liking it <clears throat> I really don't like it like I'd dip it if it was the last dip on earth, but if it wasn't and I got my Copenhagen Wintergreen, I would definitely dip it. It is something different to dip. Not by taste, but by feel. Yeah. But I really don't know. I'm not a not a Wintergreen fan no more. I can tell you that. Uh, tomorrow I go to work, so after I get paid. 
excuse me, Friday I gotta work because tomorrow's Thanksgiving. <clears throat> and happy Thanksgiving to all of you out there. I hope everyone's gonna have a, a wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow. And uh hope everyone's thankful. I'm thankful for my dip, my best friend. He gave me this. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for him being in my life. I'm thankful for my parents not being too strict on me nowadays. I'm thankful for my grandmother raising me when I was little, when my mom went out and did her thing in high school. Um, thankful for my grandparents. Thankful for my brother, my four sisters, three sisters. Well, four would be horrible. And, uh, just everyone be thankful. Thanksgiving is not a, oh, we all celebrate food. No, it's it's a time of it's a time of thanks. It's a time of everyone coming together, seeing each other. It's like a a, a family reunion, except it's not just family. It's friends, family, random people you find out of the street. I mean, be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for the people you meet. Be thankful for the people you are friends with. Be thankful for the people that you're enemies with. I mean, I know that's hard to do because I have a couple enemies too, but just be thankful for them because, I mean, if it wasn't for those enemies, you wouldn't be having someone to have arguments with. I mean, you make friends out of your enemies. I mean, I met a... Uh, one of my friends that moved to Texas, his name was Jacob, and the only reason why we met was because me and one guy was in an argument, and he came up and broke both of us up, so because of my enemy, I had made a friend. Friends and enemies should become friends no matter what in the end, because I've had a couple friends that came enemies, and then we came back friends again. I know that doesn't make sense, but it, when it happens to you, you'll know. You'll understand what I'm saying, even though I'm a dumbass for saying it. But, um, yeah, I hope all y'all have a th good Thanksgiving dinner. For all you fat asses out there, like me, keep eating. Now, if you don't like your weight like me, what I would do is, I mean, I start working out again. This is how I lost my weight. I used to be 230 pounds. I used to weigh 180 back in high school whenever I started working out and playing football. Um, what I used to do, well, what I'm doing, is I go out to my garage. I play me some music on a speaker. Now my garage is probably like 10 yards, 15 yards maybe. Maybe 10 yards, I don't know, about 15. So... <clears throat> what I do is I stretch first because you always have to stretch or else you'll run and you'll catch a cramp. And I had to go to the doctor one time because I had a really bad cramp and it would not go away. Like it literally stretched my muscles out because they had to like pull my leg apart. Like my dad couldn't do it. And they had like three doctors on me trying to do it. <clears throat> Can't speak with this shit and like I'm getting a buzz off of it now. Copenhagen Wintergreen, I thought was the highest tobacco, not tobacco, but nicotine level. And that's not why I dip it, but it's, it's, I just like the taste of it. But if you're really wanting a buzz and you've been dipping for a while like I am, this is my third year dipping. And you want a buzz, get some Grizzly Wintergreen. Shit, Grizzly Wintergreen. This thing will make you buzz. I mean, I'm getting a buzz right now. That's why I'm talking a bunch of shit. But, uh, yeah, just... Stretch, so you won't get uh, cramps, but what I did is I stretched, I ran back and forth 20 times, no stop. Took a break, put my hands above my head and started breathing. Now don't do this with a dip in, like it was horrible the first time I did it, it was I'm not going to explain how horrible it was, but just keep running back and forth 20 times. Do 10 push-ups, if you can't do 10 push-ups, do 1, stop, 1. One, all the way to ten. That's what I did. And now I can do ten push-ups in a row. That's disgusting. 
Oh, my nose is getting stopped up now. Fuck you, Wintergreen. Um, so yeah. Push-ups, jumping jacks, just a bunch of stretching you, uh, techniques, and you'll start losing weight. I lost 10 pounds. Now I'm at 220. Now it's nasty. So yeah, that's how you lose. That's how I lost my weight. So after Thanksgiving, I'm gonna have to kick that shit up to a 10 because I eat a lot. So Thanksgiving comes, there ain't gonna be no leftovers because I'll be eating it. <laughs> so yeah, hope y'all have a nice Thanksgiving and uh, peace out, y'all.